Hey guys, it's John here again. Um, right, I got some more CDs off of my mate Ian, uh, who lives in Guernsey with me. And um, not in the same house, but in Guernsey. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, he, if you saw my last videos, I did a room tour of his house and I did, um, he gave me some uh, Tenacious D box set, which was awesome. And um, a guitar, which was also, I cleaned the guitar up. I will uh, quickly show you. Hang a sec. I um, give it a good old clean up. So uh, it's uh, far better than it was before. It was, uh, it needs, it still needs another going over. But um, far, far better. Um, and then, um, what else? Uh, yeah, some CDs um, that I got from him yesterday. Um, he came round to my house and um, and brought some CDs. I gave him some records. I thought that'd be the fair thing to do. Um, and uh, I gave him some records because he wanted some. And I thought, you can't just give me a guitar and not take something. So. Um, I gave him some records for that, and I gave him a few records for the CDs he's given me. Um, but yeah, we're going to start off. A lot of these CDs, I'm going to um, I'm going to give them away. Um, I have a lot of these already. Um, he just came around with a carrier bag, said, "There you go, John. Just don't take those and uh, give them away to your mates on um, YouTube or whatever, or if there's any you need." And um, so first of all, we've got um, Ozzy Osbourne's Down to Earth. I do have this. Um, I've got to check this one because this one got a couple of marks on the CD. But um, check it works. But uh, there's that one. And then we got this one. This is not a band I'm into, but uh, I think this is slightly expensive actually to get hold of. Uh, I did have this before. Uh, this is by the band Tool, and it's called 10,000 Days. I've never, ever listened to their stuff, and I probably don't even think I'd be into it. This is the one with the, uh, you see there, magnifying glasses. They're supposed to be probably glasses type thing. But yeah, um, magnifying glasses. What? <laughs> I'll get it right in a minute. Yeah, it's magnifying glasses, eh? Twit I am. But yeah, this opens out. Anybody that's into tool, um, you know, probably be really pleased with that. That's from 2006. Uh, next one, Iron Maiden's Brave New World. That's uh, from 2000. Epic. Epic, amazing songs on there, especially Blood Brothers. I love that. Um, Megadeth, The World Needs a Hero. So, yeah, I've already got a couple of these already. So, I'll pass all of these on at some point. So, um, uh, this one, yeah. Um, somebody mentioned to me the other day, I want to commented on my video actually about this CD. I have the normal uh, digipack. I have the one in the uh, case. And I've got another one. Somebody mentioned about this Anthrax album that they'd not seen it in a standard case like that. I don't know who that was now, but they, I think they were after it. So that's Worship Music and... Uh, I think the CD on this is perfect. Yeah, it is. So it's that one. Um, Metallica's Ride the Lightning. Another one to go. Uh, Iron Maiden. Uh, Somewhere Back in Time. Uh, best of. And I think this one's perfect as well. It's got one little mark on it, but not, not anything that's that bad. Another Megadeth, and we've got uh, The System Has Failed. So all of these are to go. I'm not keeping these. The 
somebody out there will get them. I've got, um, I do have the slip case for this, but I've taken it off because they're not always the best condition and uh, it is the best of Pantera. So there's the slip case. I'll put it in. Um, if I can find any Pantera fans, because I am, there's don't seem to be a huge amount in the VC, so. I can't remember, is it me and, me and Frankie? I think Frankie's a fan of Pantera. Uh, Metallica, uh, Garage Inc. That's a pretty cool uh, covers record. Um, and they got new, there's new recordings. Sorry, 98. I think most Metallica fans will have this, but if there's somebody out there that's a Metallic who's not got any Metallica, this is a pretty cool one to get. Obviously not a proper studio album, so I just got to have a cup of tea. Um, this one I'd never seen before. Uh, this is this is 2017. This is uh, called King Animal. It's by Soundgarden. Um, I don't know anything about that. I might just keep that. Um, and uh, because I'm going to try and get into those audio sl slave albums and see what they're like. I've heard one song. I didn't mind that. Talking of Audio Slave, it's this album that I've sung on. Um, but I think I might have this already. I'm not sure. And that's from 2002. Another Audio Slave, I think I already have. So, Out of Exile. So, I would uh, pass that on. Um, I'm going to pass, I'm going to give this one to my daughter actually, if I haven't got it already. This is uh, The Amazing. David Bowie and Ziggy Stardust album. Absolutely fantastic. Um, some brilliant songs in here. Five Years, Moon Age Daydream, Starman, Lady Stardust, uh, Ziggy Stardust, um, Suffragette City on there. That's from uh, the original one, I think, 1971, I think. If I'm right. Doesn't sound there. But this is the 1999 reissue. Um, and these are pretty cool. These are 24 bit digitally remastered series, and I have a few of those, but can't remember if I got that one or not. Uh, then I, I took this because I was like, I've never seen this in uh, this form, or I haven't got it. Uh, this is um, Metallica's worst album, um, Saint Anger, and uh, this is a Digipack one. I don't know how many of the booklets in there. There's a DVD in the album there. Uh, unfortunately, there's a few marks and a few light scratches on these CDs. But um, I think I might keep that one for myself for now. Uh, this one I think I have. I think I picked this up this year um, from Ian again. And this is um, Anthrax, the anthology. Uh, no Hit Wonders on there, 1985 to 1991. And that's actually in, I think, perfect condition. Yes, it is, it's in perfect. It's a CD. Uh, an Anthrax one, uh, which I'm going to keep. Uh, we've Come For Your All. So that's that one. 2003. I don't know how many people, uh, what people think of that. So let me know. Is that a John Bush one? I think so. I think that's him in there, yeah. Is that John Bush down there somewhere? Um, I've never followed Anthrax, so I'm really uh, a newbie to Anthrax. This one's got a few marks on the disc, so I'm going to keep that. Hopefully it plays. Uh, this one I already have, but not in this form. I've got the jewel case. Uh, yeah, I have the normal um, jewel case. This one's the Digipack Robert Plant 66 to Timbuk2. This has got no extra so stuff actually, even though it's a Digi. Um, there's a booklet, two CDs. 
Um, and there really is not, I like this picture that goes along like this. And um, that's exactly the same amount of songs as the standard uh, two disc one. This digi is nothing extra to offer. Um, I didn't have this one actually. I don't normally buy these best ofs all the time. This is uh, Megadeth's Anthology. Uh, set the World of Fire. I didn't have that. I wonder if Frankie's got that. Let me know, Frankie, if you've got it. Um, set the World of Fire, disc one and disc two. There's quite some good stuff on there. And uh, some demo stuff of High Speed Dirt, Crown of Worms, and um, some live stuff on there, P-Cells and Symphony. Um, yeah, there's um, a few th songs on there you wouldn't expect, even Into the Longs of Hell is on there, which is um, pretty cool. Um, Set the World of Fire, you don't normally see even that song on <laughs> um, a best of or an anthology, so of theirs but that one's broken the mold that's uh, from 2008 uh, this one I've never listened to and I don't really listen to this but I don't listen to this band but I have a couple of their CDs and uh, most of you guys in the VC talk about this band this is testament and uh, this is uh, days of darkness 2 CD and uh, I think the CDs are perfect on this as well. So that's from um, 2004. It's like that inside. Again, I'm very, very new to this band, even though they've been around for so long. And uh, yeah, I just thought, why not give it a go? And. Uh, Another Amphrax one here. Yeah? Uh, this is Among the Living. I couldn't remember if I had this with my other CDs. So if I have, this is going to go out as well. To anybody that likes Anthrax, I think this is a, an original Island Masters one, so I'm not sure. And uh, the CD's got a couple of marks on it, but it should be okay. And that's from 19... Oh, that's 1986. So, yeah. Yeah. I've seen people say that that's their favourite one. So, uh, next one is, or well, last one, is The Cult. Um, and the album is called Love. I haven't got this, so I'm going to keep this. Um, there's the back of it. So yeah, 1985. That's going in my collection. So uh, none of you out there are having that. <laughs> I'm joking. No. Right. I've got some other CDs as well. Um, which I will pass on as well. Um, these are... None of these are ones I would ever even think about picking up. Um, and I'm going to pass these on. This is a uh, Sinead O'Connor book, hard book thing uh, with bonus tracks. Anybody out there that's into her, let me know. That's um, 2014. I'm not bossy, I'm the boss. Um, the Clash, the singles. It's got a couple of marks on the disc, but it'll be fine. It's got a bonus track, Train in Vain. Um, this one here, Neil Young, Prairie Wind. I can't stand Neil Young, so I don't know why I've, I've got this. These were, um, I picked those up by mistake. I would never normally pick that up. And the last one is actually um, this guy, I, I have had this album. Can't remember if I still got it. And uh, I do like his voice and it's Richard Ashcroft. 
and um, alone with everybody. Normally you find that in uh, charity shops quite easy, but this one was in with the other CDs and I've obviously picked it up by mistake. So um, that's that. And um, that is it for um, for what I've had yesterday. So I haven't been to any charity shops lately and um, I think last week was the last time I went. And uh, I haven't really found any records. Um, I think I need to um, have a good scout around and see if there's any uh, records that are cheap. Uh, see what bargain prices I can pick records up. Um, I'm not really after just buying anything at the moment. It's only if I can find things that are very, very cheap. Uh, so, you know, not being a skinflint, just 50p, pound stuff, things like that. So, right, there you go. Cheers. Keep rocking. Keep listening to it. Is what, uh, listening to whatever it is you listen to. And, um, yeah. See you later. Cheers.